What's up guys, Thomas here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at this freestyle drone, the Smart 35 by Gep RC. All right guys, so if you're like me, you probably heard a lot about these new three and a half inch drones. So this seems to be the rage right now. A lot of manufacturers are making smaller drones that behaves and performs just like a five inch quad. The latest right now is Gep RC. They have the latest drone out here. This is the Smart 35. This comes in the HD version and the analog. I have the analog version here. Shout out to Gep RC for having this ship pretty fast. This thing came from China, as you can see, and that thing took three days. It took me three days to get this right here. I was really impressed by how fast this got here. So that's amazing. All right, so let's open this up. I have my own boxing knife here, which is a little kitchen knife here. Make sure I don't cut myself. All right, let's take a look. And as you can see in the Gip RC fashion, they have this black box with the finish on here. So let's just take this out. This box is packed pretty efficiently. Nothing else in here. Put this to the side. I don't know why I get a chuckle out of that. Anyways, that's the back. Here's the front right here. It says Gip RC. Pretty cool boxing, pretty typical of Gip RC. No specs on here, just some QR codes here. You can find more information on the website. Now this one says TBS. I did get the TBS version. Uh, moving forward, I'm gonna use all my drones with Crossfire. So that's why I opted for the TBS version. All right, let's open this up. One tab here. All right, let's see. Pretty amazing. All right, some foam here, protecting pads. Some Gip RC straps, looks like an Allen key. Some screws, battery strap. You have your propellers here, and I thought these would be spare, but these are actually the propellers for this drone. Two and a half inch propellers, and they're bright orange. These remind me of the, the Tiny Hawk, or the Baby Hawk, actually. Here we are, here's the drone itself. Put that to the side. And then you have your stickers, your Gip RC stickers. We have two of them, as usual, black and blue. Your OSD menu board. I'm surprised they keep including this stuff in here. This is for your camera to control the functions of that. All right, so here's the drone right here. This thing is tiny. Wow, I thought it'd be bigger. Here's my small cine whoop here. Tiny whoop, they would call it. It's not much bigger than that, guys. So let's get this thing open, get it out of the bubble wrap, which is pretty awesome. Whoa. All right, so here is your quad. This thing looks, this thing looks amazing, guys. Nothing crazy here, a lot of carbon fiber parts on here. You have to protect it here for your, your motor uh, wires, which is a really cool touch. You have the XT30 connection here. You have all your flight controller here. This is an F4 flight controller. You have a big capacitor in here. And then you have your right hand circular polarized antenna here. This does have a 600 milliwatt VTX, so that's pretty good. Uh, back here you have your Immortal T antenna here. As I said, we have the crossfire on this drone. This thing should go really, really far. This thing should outrange my VTX, obviously. I see the, is that a micro? I think that's a micro USB. And it's easily accessible right here, which is amazing. It's hard to see, but there is the port for that. Underneath, same thing, pretty thick carbon fiber here. I think this is like a, a three millimeters bottom plate and it looks really good. And the camera here, this, this is a Rotel Cadex. And there's multiple adjustabilities here. So you can tilt it, obviously adjust it. You can move it forward or back. I'm looking forward to seeing how this camera performs. As far as the motors, these are 14 of four. We'll see how these perform. Everything here looks really, really nice, guys. Now, hopefully this thing can take a beating. We'll see about that. It just looks really small. I thought it'd be bigger. This is really small. And as I said before, my small little tiny go here by Gep RC. This one doesn't carry any payload or any kind of camera or anything like that. This has a 4K camera on here. So it has a built-in DVR. So this thing records on the spot. This is a 2S drone. Now this is a 4S drone with an XT30, as I said before. And Gep RC recommends between a 650 and a 1300 milliamp hour battery. I do have an 850 and hopefully that works out really well. Now, you can also put a camera on here. Gip RC does recommend you have a naked action camera on here, so something like a naked GoPro or a SMO 4K. Even an Insta360 Go 
two or one would be great on this because the platform here isn't that wide guys putting a full size camera on here <laughs> i don't know now i don't have a naked action camera i don't own one hopefully in the near future i can get one if gopro or insta360 wants to send me one that'd be greatly appreciated or if someone wants to sponsor one or send one to the channel i would greatly appreciate that now, one thing I want to mention as well, we just talked about the cameras. Gep RC, they are making these drones and considering the upgrades in the future. If you look to your right side here, you'll see a little plug here. This is to power your SMO 4K or your naked GoPro. And that's a really nice touch. It's zip tied right here. Gep RC is releasing a new naked GoPro, a GoPro Hero 8, I think it is. GoPro Hero 8. And that should be amazing. Now, those things are hard to get. They're actually taking pre-orders for those right now if you want to get into that. All right, guys. So this thing looks pretty good. Yeah, this is a well-known design for acro flying. Now, like I said, I came from Tiny Whoop. You can fly those indoors. You can fly those outdoors with a two-cell battery. Very capable drone. I figured I would get something a little bit bigger. And you're probably in the same boat as me trying to find a next option for you. Now, I can easily get a five-inch drone. No big deal there. But this seems to be the best of both worlds. It's a smaller drone, it's probably more efficient, but you have the design, the construction, and the capabilities of a five inch drone. Now, Gep RC also has a good reputation for having good tunes on their drones, so I expect a good tune on this. So, shortly after this video, I'm gonna make another video on how to set this up and we'll go for our first flight. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing so you'll be notified whenever I do drop that video. But yeah, guys, everything you need to start here, I would highly recommend you get a Crossfire version or version, even the DJI digital version where you have the controller and you can extend and fly pretty far. Now, this is a sub 250 gram drone. You don't have to register this with the FAA, which is another benefit to why a lot of manufacturers are going to the three and a half inch drones opposed to the five inch drone where you most likely have to register those with you know, the FA because they carry a higher payload, they carry a bigger battery, and you're definitely gonna have to register. But this one here, just like my nice little tiny whip here, it's still fun, it's pretty fast, you get a good image on here and you don't have to register this. And that's good for multiple countries, including in the US. Uh, let me know what you think about this drone. Leave those comments down below. If you have any questions about this, how much it costs, where I got it from, what do I recommend, leave those down in the comments down below. I will happily answer those questions. And as I said before, guys, I'll be doing some further videos on this drone. I'm so pumped about this one. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.